Oh, gee. He's, there is, like, styrofoam everywhere because of how absolutely terrible even the packaging was. I refuse to believe this was made on Earth. This is terrifying. <laughs> and, of course, the Grinch. Because we all know that's the best Bluey character. Alright, so I'm just gonna put some gloves on because God knows I don't want to directly touch the horrors that we're gonna see later. Yeah, these, these things are kind of small, but we'll see if we can make it work. Oh, there we go. Now we're ready to go review some cursed merch. Alrighty, everyone. So I wasn't expecting to do another knockoffs review or video, but recently... I got this kind of peculiar package. I believe it's a Bluey advent calendar. But from the looks of the pictures online, even though a lot of people were fooled by it, I was able to immediately tell that, yeah, this thing ain't legit at all. I think I got it on Amazon, which funny enough is actually a little bit confusing because there are actually official Bluey advent calendars. As you can see, this one is going to be a lot more presentable than what we're about to see in that package over there. And in fact, there's actually a few different advent calendars you can get. Of course, this is like the main one, the one that most people get. And I think they sell this on Amazon and a few other places. But recently, this year, they've not only released the standard one, but also this one, which is pretty similar, but... It does have a completely different package, and it does have some different stuff, although I think it's pretty similar. I believe this one is actually a Amazon exclusive, which I think they just released this year. And then on top of that, if you don't want to buy these because these are honestly pretty expensive, they even have, of course, the nice chocolate ones, which just have like kind of generic chocolate pieces inside of them. So you can see I just got mine at Ross of all places for $3, which is actually pretty cheap. But yeah, there's like a few different options you can get. But with that said, we're not going to be talking about the regular stuff because I know what y'all were actually here for. Y'all are here to see the weird stuff. And I've seen some pictures online and let's just say that the characters inside of it are certainly unusual and we'll get to that. Alrighty, so as you can see, we have this nice wood grain Taco Bell table from the 1980s because of course that's something I just happened to own. But anyways, here is this very wrinkled and mysterious box. And I guess we'll just start to see if we can cut it open. Maybe we can just like tear this open and just open it from there. Yeah, I I've always had issues opening boxes as I'm sure you've seen in my last videos, but I guess we'll just try and skip to the fun part. Alright, so we just rip that part open. We got one corner, that's good. Then maybe if we just get this other corner, we can just push this thing out like this. Okay, maybe not. But yeah, like I've seen what a couple of the toys look like. And at first I assumed it would just be like basic knockoffs or like candy or something. But the moment I saw the pictures online, or like the little previews of uh, some of the stuff you get, I knew that I just had to review this because it is something special, I think, and certainly not in a good way. And yeah, I guess here it is in all of its 120p or whatever glory. Just look at how crisp that text is. So I just zoomed out the camera a little so you can see it in all of its low quality glory. But as you can see, I mean, I can kind of tell how people fell for this. But on the other hand, it does look pretty unofficial. Like, they do got the official vectors of the characters, albeit pretty pixelated. And they do have the bluey logo, but you can tell that... Well, there's a few signs that this is a knockoff. I mean, apart from the obvious image quality, which is terrible. But I mean, just the generic Christmas text and the fact that they use a lot of clip art that's obviously not in the bluey style is usually a pretty good indication that you're not going to get what you wanted. And interestingly, they kind of have this 
kind of unofficial drawing from like Jingle Bells or Veranda Santa. And then here you got this like stretched out version of the advent calendar. And you got all of these pictures, which funny enough are actually all official merch. They got some stuff from the official advent calendar and a bunch of like the expensive ornaments. But to say the least, I don't think you're gonna get any 20 or $30 ornaments in this little thing. I guess we'll just get started with the first one. Try and get in there. No, stuff is already... Is it styrofoam? Wow. And then we got... It's so hard to reach because it's so small. Gosh, I, oh, I can't even reach this thing. What? We're not even going to be able to get the video started. Oh, here we go. We got the... Christmas tree? Yeah, it's it's just a small plastic Christmas tree. That's that's it. That's it. Oh, I just ripped it, of course. And then we got Oh god, what the heck is that? Oh no, no, no. Okay, so yeah, this thing is like completely falling apart. They just made it out of like styrofoam and cheap paper. I almost just want to like rip this thing open just cuz it's way too hard trying to reach through these stupid slots right here. But, um, yeah, on the second day of Christmas, we got a very, very messed up looking bingo. This thing has been through a war. Like, mate, do you need help? Anyways, here is a closer look, and yeah, it's pretty rough. Like, you can just see, like, there's just a bunch of leftover plastic just hanging on the side and it honestly looks like it's handmade by someone who has literally zero experience making literally anything like it it's just this has got to be one of the worst knockoffs i've ever seen no joke like at least the other ones had some polish to them but it literally looks like a kindergartner made this in like five seconds I, I don't even know how anyone could mistake this for being official, but I, I kind of like it. It's like so crude and bizarre that I, I kind of like it for it. It's kind of cute in its like own horrifying way. Anyways, for the third day, we got Santa. So yeah, once again, it's just kind of a generic, kind of poorly made Santa figure. Not really much to say, but... I wonder if, like, all of these are going to be generic ones, or if, like, we're actually going to get some, like, bluey-themed ones, because I think if we get some horrifying bluey ones, that would be pretty funny. Alright, so for the fourth day, we got... Let's see what it is. We got... Oh, no. We got... Uh, a very, very disturbed bluey and bingo inside of a wagon and Bingo's just holding her arms up like, why? Why did you do this to me? Yeah, this thing is also pretty rough. Like, what, what is going on down here? It looks like the thing got destroyed by a train and then they just put it in the box and shipped it here. Like, what is, this thing is like, looks like it's been through a war. And yeah, it's just like completely rough like you can literally see the blue paint going on to bingo it's just incredibly bad even like bingo's eye has like a paint chip on it already and every all the paint is just like beyond sloppy it is like horrible like i am not even joking when i said that like this is probably the worst knockoff i've ever seen and i think this is based on that one ornament with bluey and bingo inside of the wagon but to say the least I don't think this is worth $30. I don't think this is even worth 30 cents now that I think about it. This thing, you should pay me to keep this thing. For the seventh day, we have this very demonic reindeer. Rudolph be looking a little bit different. Is that the Grinch right there? But anyways, we have this bingo creature. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I have any words, um, it's certainly one of the bluey characters of all time. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks better than the other ones, but, I mean, that's not really saying much. I mean, for goodness sakes, it's missing its left hand. 
Alrighty, so I think we're just gonna see if there's any more bluey stuff because I'm sure that's what y'all were here for. And speaking of which, I think there's one right here. Interestingly enough, they're all like either bingos or chilies. I haven't really seen that many other characters, but we got the twin brother or sister of the other two with this very, very disturbed orange creature carrying some kind of candy cane or something. Although the candy cane is like the same color of their skin, so that that's kind of horrifying. Yeah, once again, this one is pretty rough. You can just see all like the holes and like the scratches and stuff when they were making these. Just abysmal quality and it's just beyond horrifying. I can see there's like some kind of another another orange creature and oh oh my gosh oh my god <laughs> oh they really messed up this one so interestingly they do have some of the toys or items based on the official advent calendar like the toy octopus <laughs> oh, no, and no, no, bingo no. have i think the time it went through bandit's body had definitely taken a number on it mentally but yeah, apart from the very cursed toys, it looks like we have a whole family down here. We got a, another chili bingo creature, which looks like it definitely had the wrong brownies, if you know what I mean. We actually have a blue healer, or at least a very demonic representation of one, with a bluey having her nose color going into her mouth to make it look like she's melting from radioactive chemicals. Yeah, this this ain't it, Chief. This isn't very good at all. But yeah, with that said, there's actually like a few down here and I just realized I ripped the whole front off, but I don't care at this point. Uh-oh, they're already jumping out. They're trying to attack me, but anyways, we got um this creature with a crown, this creature with a Santa hat and a bow tie that's just etched into their skin. And then we got this other thing with a Santa hat. I think that's like a blue bingo with some very messed up eyes. And then we got this tall creature over here. Let's see what this one is. Got uh, another bluey. I don't know why they stuck all the blueys at the bottom. It's kind of weird, but not the weirdest thing in this set to be honest. Yeah, this thing just looks depressing. <laughs> the eyes are just like completely messed up. The paint is just off the chart. Like they, they did not learn to not color outside of the lines in kindergarten, these people, I swear. I really wonder like who's the person that was behind this because it honestly looks like it's homemade or at least it was made in a very low paid shoddy factory with workers that probably get paid like two cents a day or something. But yeah, this is just really rough. And even my camera is like shaking, it's trying to get away from it. I mean, just imagine being a kid and getting this for like December or Christmas and just being met with this horrifying monstrosity. Like I'd be straight up traumatized. So yeah, I would definitely not buy this unless you want some really cursed demons in your house. All right, so before we go, I wanted to do a little comparison with the real Bluey advent calendar items. And of course the real ones are, to say the least, a lot more detailed and well-produced. But it is interesting because you can tell that there were some items they tried to directly copy. And I used the word tried very loosely. I don't even know other words to describe it. It is just like so bad. I mean, the quality of the package was like super cheap. As you can see, it just rips open. It's super hard to get into because the styrofoam constantly gets in the way and gets all over your hands and will probably be in the ocean for billions of years. Then you got the horrifying figurines. But yeah, these things, this whole set all around is just terrible. Like, everything about it is bad. And I'm not even exaggerating when I say that this is 
probably the worst Bluey knockoff I've ever seen. But, um, yeah, with that said, that is my review on the terrifying Bluey knockoff advent calendar. Once again, I wouldn't recommend buying this, although, to be fair, I am recording this in the middle of December, so I'm pretty sure lots of people have, unfortunately, already fallen for it. Although I don't think the belief that this is real has lasted for too long. But with that said, I hope you all enjoyed another round of me going through absolute demonic characters and getting my house cursed with these figures. But with that said, I got kind of a mess to clean up here. And I hope you all enjoyed another knockoff Bluey review. And until next time, my name's Hideaki. And goodbye. And of course, give the video a like or else I'll be sending this thing after you. Mohahaha. <laughs> so for today's art of the day, we have this fantastic drawing by user Comic Client from Twitter. Apologies if I mispronounced your name, but I thought this drawing of Hideaki was really fun, and I saw that you mentioned in the post that you love my content as well. So thank you for the kind words, and of course, the amazing art as well.